If you were to jump off a seven-story building, you'd die. Obviously. But you know who wouldn't? These guys. But why? Well, when Steve or any other player drops 23 blocks, which is 23 meters, they'll still survive. So I set out to calculate the rate that Steve is falling when he hits the ground from a height of 23 meters. Well, he survives, so it must not be that fast, right? Well, prepare yourself, because we're going to have to do a little bit of math and a little bit of physics to figure this one out. In order to solve for the final velocity, just before Steve is about to hit the ground, we're going to have to use this kinematic equation, where velocity final squared equals velocity initial squared plus 2 acceleration times y final minus y initial. So we're going to plug in the values that we already know. We're searching for velocity final squared, so we're going to leave that as is, but the initial velocity is going to be 0 because we're in free fall then 2 times acceleration, which is going to be negative 9.8 meters per second squared, because we're assuming that the acceleration is the same as that on Earth. Then y final minus y initial, well, our y final is going to be 0, because that's where Steve lands, and the y height that he started at is 23 meters. From here, we can simplify. So this is going to be negative 19.6 meters per second squared times negative 23 meters. When we simplify this further, then we're going to see that we get 450.8 meters squared over second squared. From here, we need to solve for v final. So we're going to square root both sides. And this gives us a final velocity of 21.23 meters per second. And when we translate this to miles per hour, this is actually 47.49 miles per hour that he's traveling at when he hits the ground. Here's a compilation of things traveling at 45 miles per hour. Freeway car crash. Water car. Greyhound top speed. Probably this guy. Boy! Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching.